Hello folks, hope you are doing great. I am fine and today in this session we are going to discuss stratified random sampling using Microsoft Excel. Okay, the learning objective that I intend to convey and communicate today is to illustrate how stratified sampling with proportional sample sizes can be implemented in Excel. Fine. So this data, I have a data set of around 50,000 people. Okay. So that's a huge data set and we are going to implement proportionate stratified random sampling in Excel. I hope you are excited. Even I am. Let's see how to do it. Okay. The problem. Okay. Let us read the problem. This file, a frame of 50,000 people in the city of Midtown. Obviously, this is a hypothetical city who have a particular retailer's credit card. Now, the retailer is interested in estimating the average number of other credit cards these people own, as well as other information about their use of credit. Now, this company decides to stratify these customers by age. Select a stratified sample of size 200 with proportional sample sizes. Fine and then contact these 200 people by phone. Now, how might the company proceed? This is the problem. Interesting problem, right? Now, let us see further information. My total sample size is 200. Now, strata is based on age. Now, I have defined three different stratas. Okay, stratum 1, stratum 2, stratum 3. And the customers within the age group of 18 to 30 fall under stratum 1. Those within 31 to 62 fall under stratum 2, 63 to 80 fall under stratum 3. So this is working under the assumption that there is no customer uh, who is younger than 18 years of age and there is no customer who is older than 80 years of age. Okay, so this is how we have created the stratum. Now, first let us assign the stratum for our customers. Okay, now let's do it. How do we do it? Now let us define the stratum. Here we will implement the humble if condition. If. Okay. So let us put our logical test. Let us say if our value that is the age value is less than or equal to. Okay. The maximum age in stratum 1. Okay. Now select this. Since I want to drag the formula down, so I would like to freeze this as well. Okay, I'm freezing this. Now, if this value, okay, if the age value is less than or equal to the maximum boundary in stratum 1, okay, then what should I do? Then let us put that in stratum 1. Else, else what? I will run another if condition, a nested if. So, let us go if. Again, your age is less than or equal to your stratum B or stratum 2. Again, freeze it. Then what we will do, then I will assign it to stratum 2. Else, it goes into stratum 3. Fine. That makes sense. Yeah. Now, let's wrap up the... Parenthesis, hit enter. Now I see that the first customer is in stratum 1. Okay. Now let us see. I'll drag it down and let us see how the stratums get assigned. So I've done it. So I can see the stratums have been assigned. Okay. So all my customers. So, there are a lot of customers who are in stratum 1, then in 2, then if you scroll it down, they are in 3. Good? Great. Okay. Now, let us get the count of people in my population who are in various stratums. Right? So, let us get the count. Uh, here, I am making just a small lookup table sort of a thing. So let us get the count so that I can find the proportion okay, in uh, of the sample sizes. So let us do a count if. 
okay count if and this is my range now i'll count each one in my range okay so this is my data the range now what is the criteria the criteria is stratum 1 or stratum 2 or stratum 3 so in this case it's going to be stratum 1 so select that hit enter so i'll have around 10328 people in stratum 1 okay that's in stratum 2 and 3 in stratum 2 there are 25402 people and in stratum 3 i have 14270 that's great okay now let's see how many in total okay how many do i have in total so the sum of my entire population size is 50000 okay now i need to have the same proportion in my sample as well okay now let's see equals your number of customers in stratum 1 divided by your population multiplied by your sample size okay now let us freeze this multiplied by your sample size okay so even let us freeze this yeah. so the sample size is coming in decimals so what should i do let us round it off okay i'll round it off to get an integer okay round r o u n d round okay and round it to zero decimal places okay close the parenthesis hit enter now from stratum 1 i would require 41 units in my sample from stratum 2 it is 102 and from stratum 3 it's going to be 57 so the sum should be 200 right let's just check yes so this is what my sample distribution has to be now let's generate the samples okay now what in order to infuse randomness okay we just assign some random numbers right so random i generate some random numbers okay now so that uh, these numbers keep on changing with any calculation let us freeze them okay i copy them i again paste them over here as values okay remember that so i'll paste them as values so paste as values now they are frozen they won't change now let us you know sort them in order to infuse randomness that's the objective now let us go for a sorting of my random numbers the sorting can be in either ascending or descending whichever is your choice let's go and sort it okay now i am trying to sort my data let's see okay yep now it has got sorted once that sorting is done okay now what happens is that brings in a randomness now after this sorting has been applied my data okay the tables above they are lost let us bring that back okay now just see now once this is sorted let me just uh, insert a new column insert a new row okay because of which yeah a new row is inserted now let's do the sorting okay so it's taking time because it's a huge data now once this is sorted okay i have the random number sorted after that i would like to sort my stratum okay because i want them to be in a sequence along with randomness so let's sort this as well so once i'm sorting my stratum 
I'll see all the stratum ones are together, then stratum two gets together. Okay, so that way. Now I have all the stratums together. Now the next step is to assign a stratum index. Okay, now what is that stratum index? Or what is the purpose of giving a stratum index? Now the point is I want all my individual stratums to be counted. Like for instance, I have 10,328 uh, customers in stratum 1. So starting from 1, the index should go on till 10,328 for my stratum 1. Okay. Then in stratum 2, again it should start from 1 and the stratum should go or the index should go up till 25,402. Subsequently, in stratum 3, again the index should start from 1 and it should end till 14,270. So that is the objective, to give individual index for each stratum. Okay, now let's do that. So how do you do it? Start with 1. Okay, go to the next cell and let us apply an if condition. Okay, now if your... Uh, stratum okay if your stratum is same okay is equal to your previous cell okay if this is equal to the previous cell then what will i do comma then i would give an index of this cell okay the previous index whatever i have assigned plus one means now in this cell it should become 2 and when I drag it, it, it will become 3, 4 and so on. Okay, so plus 1 or else if it is not equal, then what will happen? Then start with 1 again, right? Make sense? Hit enter. Now let's see. I get 2 over here. Now when I drag it down, it should go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so that way I get an index. So up till 14,000 something it will go on. And at the next entry will change, like for example, the 10,329th index will be 1 again. Okay, let us check it out and see. 10,000, let us move. Okay, now you can see the index has changed. Okay, now just slowly observe 10,000. Okay, just keep on observing. It's 10,000, 100, 200. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to watch how the index would change. You get 10,328. From here on, you can see the strata changes. Again, the index changes. So that is the objective of this step to give individual index for each strata. Okay. I hope that makes sense and that's clear. Okay. Now, once this is done, I want to know whether a particular customer gets into the sample or not. Okay. And that's also a very interesting step and uh, you would love to or you would enjoy doing that. I'm sure equals. Now, let's see if. Okay. Now, the logical test is if your index, okay, this value. Okay is less than or equal to from here just see i will use a nested v lookup okay now this is going to be interesting v lookup now what is going to be your v lookup value okay v lookup value is going to be your stratum okay now if this v lookup is the lookup value, the stratum 1, comma, what is your table or array? Okay, this is going to be your table or array. So just table array is this. Freeze your table array. Okay, now what is the column? I am going to look for the column of sample size. Okay, so now the sample size is selected. Close your VLOOKUP function. And then we'll continue with if your 
index value is less than whatever the lookup value less than or equal to lookup value okay then what happens then print yes means that goes into the sample okay else print no that doesn't go into the sample okay now close your if function i hope this is going to be interesting and you will try to do it yourself as well now you see in your sample okay 41 from stratum 1 should be yes that is to say the 42nd index onwards you should find no in your stratum 1 let's check that out and see just see we are at index 29 30 35 37 30 you see 42 onwards it starts with no okay so that's the beauty so we easily are in a position to find out or create a sample which is both stratified and at the same time here we have stratified it according to age and at the same time it's proportionate also so stratified proportionate sampling i hope you found this interesting and useful if so please do share the good word do like and subscribe thank you for watching bye bye